The main card for UFC 275 opens up at a welterweight bout between the Australian Jack De La Maddalena versus Ramazan Imev from Russia. Imev goes by Goretz. He's 20 and 5 overall. He's 3 and 2 in his last five fights, 35 years old. Hails out of Dagestan, Russia. He's a slight dog here at plus 140 in the money line. He's 5 foot 10 in height with a 68 and a half inch reach. He trains out of Goritz FT. As for Jack De La Maddalena, he's 11 and 2 overall. 5 and 0 in his last five fights. A slight favorite at minus 160 in the money line. He hails out of Perth, Western Australia, where he's still based out of. 5 11 in height with a 73 inch reach. He trains out of a gym called Scrappy MMA and Fitness in Perth, Australia. As for the striking numbers on these two fighters, Matalana's landing 8.40 per minute, high volume striker, observing 4.95. As for EMF, as to be expected as a Russian fighter from Dagestan, much less volume, landing 2.52 per minute, observing 2.02. So positive striking ratio, but much less volume, which I believe will be a huge factor if the fight goes to decision. Now, as for takedown offense, EMF is landing 2.29 takedowns per fight, zero takedowns per fight for Madalena. For takedown defense, 75% for Madalena and 66% for EMF. Obviously, EMF is going to look to wrestle at some point in the fight. Madalena will either have to get back up or show his takedown defense. Now, looking at the profiles in these two fighters, Mr. Jack De La Madalena was born in Australia. He attended Aquinas College in Perth, Australia. He had a 1 0 amateur record. He made his pro debut in 2016. He began his pro career 0 2 and got finished in his first two fights. Kind of a rough start, right? But they say it's not where you start is where you finish. He's a brown belt in BJJ. He fought in Cage Warriors and Eternal MMA prior to the UFC. He earned his UFC contract via Dana White Contender Series in 2021 via a win over Ang Lusa. Now, Dana White was obviously in attendance at Dana White Contender Series. He really liked the fight a lot. He was very impressed. It went to decision, but it was a back and forth war. So clearly he liked what he saw from the fight and gave the contract to Montalana. His last fight, he fought Pete Rodriguez. It was his UFC debut. It was earlier this year. He got a round one TKO win. He was a minus 400 favorite. Rodriguez was 4-0 coming into the fight, but he was nowhere near the caliber of Madalena. Madalena bullied him on the feet, hurt him with a jab early on, had him bloodied up, and got the finish early in round one. His prior fight against Lusa last year on Dead White Contender Series got a decision win. He was a minus 125 favorite. Now, Lusa is 0-1 in the UFC and has lost three of his last five fights. So one question you have to have about Madalena is, how does he do against better competition? Is EMF that much of a step up in competition? He is a step up. But how does he do now when he gets tested against better opponents? Now, the things I do like about Madalena, he's very durable. He's never been finished before. Excellent finish rate himself. Of his 11 wins, 10 are by finish. He fights out of a southpaw stance. It's always an adjustment for the fighter he's going up against. He has an excellent jab. It's not talked about enough. I believe his jab is underrated, and that's part of his boxing foundation. So in this fight, I expect to see that jab early and often. He holds a very high guard and does a good job of blocking boxing strikes. And his volume is excellent, averaging almost nine strikes per minute. Now, my concerns for Mandalena, he has fought very limited competition, and Emev will probably be the toughest opponent he's fought in his career. At times, he'll have a tendency to get into a brawl. Now, in this fight, that might help him. I don't believe Emev wants to brawl. If he tries to brawl with Emev, I see Emev actually backing up. In this fight, it should not be an issue, but again, he does like to brawl at times. Now, as for the Russian, Ramazan Emev, born in Dagestan. He began wrestling at the age of six years old. He attended Dagestan University. He won the 2009 Dagestan Pancreation Championship and also won a World Combat Sambo title in 2009. He holds the title for International Master of Sports in Sambo. He went professional in 2009. He's been a pro for 13 years. He fought M1 prior to the UFC. He's the former M1 middleweight champion. He signed to the UFC in 2017. He has a 5-2 overall UFC record. His prior fight, he fought against Danny Roberts, 2021. Split decision loss. He was a minus 310 favorite in that fight. So if you were betting on him, ooh, not a good situation. Roberts is a UFC veteran, though. 7-5 overall UFC record, 12 total fights in the UFC. He did secure a takedown in round one and in round two against Danny Roberts. But Roberts, being the veteran he is, gets back to the feet. It was a very close fight. It could have gone either way. The problem was, as a minus 310 favorite, it shouldn't have been that close. He ends up coming up on the short side of the stick there. His prior fight, David Zawada, 2021 last year as well. And guess what? Another split decision. This time he gets the win. He was a minus 290 favorite. Another big favorite spot again. Almost 3-1 to one favorite in both those fights. Zawada is no longer with the UFC, and he was 1-4 in the UFC. So putting that into context, that's not a very impressive win. Two more fights to talk about. Nicholas Stoltz, who just fought recently, who's 0-3 in the UFC. They fought in 2020, two years ago, and he won the fight by decision as a minus 410 favorite. So here we go again. Big favorite. You're barely winning the fight by decision over against a guy who has not even had registered to win yet in the UFC. So when you look back at his last few fights, a lot of decision wins, a lot of close decision wins, and no wins over any notable opponents. Now, what is there to like about Emev? He does have extensive professional mixed martial arts experience, both in UFC and outside the UFC, and obviously was a former M1 global champion. Has legit wrestling skills. To be expected, he's from Dagestan, been wrestling since he was the age of six years old, former combat Sambo world champion. His wrestling is pretty good. Now, in this matchup, I do think Madalena will be able to neutralize some of that at times, but you can expect to see Emov getting at least one or two takedowns in this fight. He's also very durable, only been finished twice in his career. That's 25 total mixed martial arts fights, one by submission and one by TKO. 
Now my concerns for Imev, he's not a very good finisher. For example, his last eight fights have all gone to decision. So part of his path to victory is depending upon the judges to give him the scores. And he went to split decision in his last two fights. Kind of hard for me to have confidence in betting on someone who's going to split decision that often. And his most impressive UFC win to date is probably over Sam Smiling Alvey. I'm not kidding. That's probably his most impressive win to date. He has just simply not been tested yet in UFC. At 35 years old, he's 10 years older than his opponent. Now, will that be a big factor? I don't think it's going to be a big factor, but it doesn't help him at all. Put it that way. The fights we watched are made on this film. We watched Emev vs. Roberts from last year, Emev vs. Water from last year, Madalena vs. Lusa from last year, and Madalena vs. Rodriguez from earlier this year. If you want to watch any one of those four fights as part of our free video library, just take a look down below here on YouTube, and you're going to see those four links available in the description. My last few thoughts on these two fighters. Experience-wise, I got to give an edge to Emev. He's obviously fought a lot more fights in total, and he's fought more fights in the UFC. The young fighter, Madalena, has shown good fighter IQ thus far. He's a warrior, he's balanced, can fight in the feet, can fight on the ground. As for Ramazan Emev, he's not a bad fighter, he's not a dumb fighter, but he's kind of like a one-trick pony. He's got to wrestle, goes to decision very often, so for fighter IQ, give him about the same rating. For cardio, they both check out. Obviously, in the case of Ramazan Emev, he goes to decision very often, he's got good cardio. Now, when it comes to finishing, not even close. Madalena is a very good finisher, and you got Emev in his last eight fights going to decision. As for striking, another advantage from Madalena. Ramazan Emev is a wrestler, pitcher, the Dagestani wrestler type. They use some striking to set up takedowns, but Della Madalena has a very good boxing game and has a phenomenal jab. As for grappling, I'm going to give the edge to the Russian fighter Emev. He is a very good grappler, good wrestler, good position control, but Jack Della Madalena, the 10 year younger fighter, is very strong and should be able to work his way back to the feet if the fight gets to the ground. Now, the props I like for this fight, the fight going to distance at minus 175. These guys are pretty evenly matched when it comes to grappling. Could I see a finish? Yes, but again, Emev is a decision monster. He's a veteran of the sport. I can see him stretching this thing out to a decision, and at that point, I see Madalena winning the fight by decision, but I see the fight either way going the distance at minus 175. I like that prop a lot. The prop that I like the most for this fight, though, is the fight starting round three at minus 280. Yes, a slightly chalky spot, but I see the fight at least getting into round three. Got a close round one, round two. There should be some wrestling. There should be some clock getting chewed up, but at minus 280, that could be a parlay piece for you. At plus 275 for Madalena to win by TKO, I like that prop. It's something to consider because I can see him overwhelming EMF at some point. Now, a round three TKO win by Madalena is plus 1600. My thinking there is pretty simple. We get to round three, EMF gets a little bit gassed out, gets a little bit tired, and Madalena just overpowers him, pressures him, gets on top of him, and starts raining down a bunch of strikes. EMF just covers up, and we got a TKO finish. So I like that prop at plus 1600. Now, either fighter to win by decision, plus 165 for Madalena and plus 225 for EMF. Emev's most likely path to victory is by decision. If you're going to bet on Emev, the money line has him at plus 140. Not a bad spot, but it's a little better at plus 225. If you're going to bet on Emev, I would urge you to take that prop at plus 225. As for Madalena, I feel like he's got multiple paths to victory. I can see him winning by decision. I can see him getting a TKO by overwhelming Emev, but most likely by decision. That plus 165 prop is another good spot to look at. But if you like Madalena that much, just take him at minus 160 in the money line. It's just about pick up money. It's good value. I like Madalena to win the fight. I'm going to bet him at least a half unit straight up on the money line to win the fight, and the two props will have action on for sure will be the fight starting round three at minus 280 and then the fight going the distance at minus 175 that's your breakdown boys and girls we're on to the next fight here we go